Hi everyone, welcome back to the Talking Money with Nozi podcast. In the next five episodes, I am going to be talking about personal finance basics. Today's episode, which is about earning and growing your income, is part one of the five episodes. But before we dive in, please note that the information shared here is for educational and entertainment purposes only. This podcast is not intended as financial advice tailored to your specific circumstances. Please consult with a qualified professional before making any financial decisions. Back to today's podcast. Money is an important tool that allows us to meet our basic needs and live the life that we want. Whether it's paying bills, saving for the future or paying for a holiday break, earning money gives us the means to make all of this possible. Income is the cornerstone of personal finance. Without income, financial planning is impossible. We all know that to earn an income, you have to work. And the more valuable your work is, the more income you make. Let's talk about a few ways to earn more money. The first way to earn more money if you are an employee is to negotiate a higher salary. Many people feel uncomfortable discussing their salary with their employer, but it's an important step in maximizing your income. Here are a few tips for negotiating your salary. You should start by doing your research. Research your industry and salaries for similar positions so that you have an idea of your salary range, what it should be. You should highlight your value, go prepared to the negotiation, with examples of what you have accomplished, your skills, and contribution to the company. Don't be shy to show off your value, but you have to be honest. If you are always late for work, always doing the bare minimum, not improving your performance, you can't seriously expect an increase, right? You should be fair. You should be able to confidently explain why you believe you deserve a higher salary and be prepared to truthfully and respectfully negotiate with your employer. The second way to earn more money is creating additional streams of income. In today's world, there are countless opportunities to supplement your salary. There is freelancing, for example, where if you have skills like writing, graphic design, coding, accounting, pretty much any skill, you should consider freelancing to earn extra income in your spare time. You can do freelancing on your own or you can sign up on freelancing websites like Fiverr or Upwork to get freelancing work in your spare time. Another way to make more money is renting out your assets. For example, if you have a spare room in your home or a cottage that you're not using, or if you have a car that you don't use, you can rent out your assets on platforms like Airbnb in the case of accommodation or Uber, for example, in the case of a car to generate additional income. Another way to make more money is starting a side business. If you have a passion or hobby, Think about how you can monetize it and start a side business, whether it's selling stuff online or offering your services like tutoring to learners, for example. Starting a side business can be a good way to increase your income. The third way to earn more money is to invest in your education and skills to increase your value and increase your earning potential. In today's fast paced job market, Continuous learning and skills development are important for remaining competitive and increasing your earning potential. Here are a few ways to invest in your education and skills. Number one, you can further your education by getting a higher degree or getting certifications in your field. This can open up new opportunities and attract a higher salary. Number two, you can attend workshops and conferences related to your industry or area of interest. These events give networking opportunities and can help you stay up to date on the latest trends and developments in your field. Number three, you can take online courses. So with the rise of online learning platforms like Coursera, Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, it's easier than ever to access high quality educational content from the comfort of your own home. And guys, by investing in your education and skills, you not only increase your value as an employee, 
but you also position yourself for long-term career success and financial stability. That's the end of part one of five personal finance basics episodes. I hope you found this episode helpful to your journey to financial freedom. Please remember to follow this podcast and leave a five-star review. If there is a question that you would like me to answer in future episodes, please WhatsApp me on 072-586-2827. Join me on the next episode, which will be part two of five personal finance basics.